On turning the console, I had so much potential. It's safe that the game was in fully optimized state and never had any issues and never felt like it was an incomplete project would certainly be an overstatement. But there's always a but, isn't there? Despite how well treated Unturned is on PC and how incredible its little community is, when the Elbury update was released, it was a free expansion. I just want to point that out. However, not only was it incomplete to where it was missing tons of sound from normal objects like cars and such, the update forcefully created lags and glitches to where it was in just unplayable state. In some cases, many PS4 players experienced 6 FPS, and that's shit. If this doesn't scream, please help, and fix this game because it's literally dying, then I don't know what is. Then a promise was made, saying that this game was getting fixed within two weeks. I believe that was a statement that was mentioned on their exclusive Twitter account. You'd assume that developers would go out of their way and try to fix the game immediately. Immediately is the keyword here, by the way. Especially after it was announced as unplayable. But nope, give us two weeks. And over time, those two weeks easily turned into more than, more so like five or six. And you know what's even more funny to me? I knew exactly it was going to be like that. Well, the game was published by 505 Games, and those guys and their development team are notorious on releasing titles and ditching it for something else. In fact, I refuse to ever buy or even get myself involved with any of their titles, at least not until they fix and give deserved love to Unturned on console. So as someone who was once fascinated with Unturned specifically on console, I'm going to tell you right now, it's not perfect and it will disappoint you a lot. So you might want to just not buy it right now, unless you already screwed up like myself and you already did. When the game was released on console, it wasn't in perfect state either. And because the game was new back then, it felt like it was completely normal because that's what happens with 70% of titles anyways. Nothing new, right? It'll be fixed, eventually. Then as time went on, we got what we desperately waited and literally cried for. But now there's a trick. So many people gave up on the game. Servers are nearly dead most of the time. You'll be lucky if you find one high pop server that is full and based on high loot PvP. Most of them will range between 4 to 5, sometimes even 3 out of 24 players. It's not good. Ever since then, I deleted the game and all of those short cinematic movie projects that I once wanted to do and accomplish, keep in mind that was last year, seem to be far and out of reach. Not until this morning, I think. Seems like a lot has been happening behind the closed doors or at least that's what they said about six hours ago. Something truly major happened to Unturned on console that could seriously change everything. The game that seemed completely ruined and thrown away has been given to a whole different group of people, and I'm referring that to a whole different development team. Unturned on console has been taken away from Fun Labs and given to Cradle Games, I think that's how you pronounce them. These developers are fairly small and are known for the hell point from 2020. Because Cradle Games is semi-new to the game development industry, it's hard to judge them for now, and we just must wait until we get further down the line as far as the improvement goes with Unturned. Is this the hope we've been desperately waiting for? Hell yeah, I'd like to say that, but I'm not sure. When the game is given to a whole different team, that's a huge sign. Clearly, Fun Labs failed to support Unturned, and overall Unturned was a task for them that was too much to handle. I'd like to have faith and support in Crendel Games throughout, you know, this journey and see what they have to say and do when it comes to saving Unturned on console, if it's even possible. As of today, the new update came out that was somewhere around 800 megabytes on PS5. This update completely screwed up the game. I joined a single player world to be assured that none of the lags came from the server itself. The game ran poorly. I'm experiencing very low frame rate. The textures are choppy as heck. The render distance is very harsh, as you can tell. The text in the menu ranges between large and small as if they just couldn't make up their minds. In the main menu, my character appears to have hair and beard. However, in reality, I'm very much bald and not so pretty looking. The game needs a lot of work, period. I really don't know how to go about any of this. I'd like to give him the time to just fully commit and work on this title, but at the same time seeing what I'm seeing makes me question everything about all of this. I don't think they even have public testing servers, because every time they drop a patch or a new update it just completely ruins the game and makes it that much worse. I'd like to take the time and just thank everyone who's sticking around up until this point. Please show your love and appreciation to the new development team and most importantly, as hard as it is to say, please stay patient. I know this is a lot to ask for because I'm at this point I'm just running out of patience as well. There's a lot of shit that needs to be fixed, addressed, and I think they can do it. Fingers crossed. Credle Games, best of luck to you.